Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here tonight. We're talking about a little bit of the main event. I think it's the 30th of September. All I know is it's not the first because that's tomorrow. Um, but tonight on main event, you know, you have to go over to WWE Network to check that out, I guess, unless you live overseas over in Canada where it's on normal basic TV. But we get to see the progression of the Mark Henry feud. And this is a feud that honestly I'm really getting down into. I never thought there would be a point when I was really looking forward to another Mark Henry match, but right now it's a time that you know Mark Henry seems to be up on the uprise, uh, not as a babyface, but uh, as a guy who's about to explode and turn heel. And this is something that I really love. Tonight on main event, he had a big match against Bo Dallas. Of course, everybody who saw main event, Monday Night Raw last night uh, got to see basically um, Bo Dallas calling out Mark Henry and uh, making him feel bad for not being able to take out Rusev at the pay-per-view, and I think everybody's just looking for him to explode, and uh, tonight we got that, uh, basically Mark Henry and Bo Dallas had a match, um, and in that match, uh, Mark Henry <laughs> lost via countout, and uh, basically he let down the people once again, of course, if you've been following so long at the pay-per-view, he lost uh, to uh, uh, Rusev and then came back out on Monday Night Raw and challenged him one more time and wasn't able to beat him that time again either. Then on main event last week he came out uh, and he had a prepared statement basically telling the fans to fuck off that he wasn't ready to get into that match with Rusev and he blamed the fans for pushing him into it even though all the fans were chanting USA, USA and cheering for him. He was delivering this sort of uh, um, uh, promo and the best thing about it was that uh, Mark Henry could tell it that you know they were in a different city than Monday Night Raw when they were giving him the what what treatment and uh, not really paying much attention to his promo. Uh, you know the, the city that they were in last week for uh, main event in SmackDown was really you know behind Mark Henry he wanted to cheer for the USA hero and uh, didn't really feel like they let him down. But uh, he sort of kicked it up a notch. He just said, "Yeah, <laughs> where were you guys last night? Now you want to chant USA? Where were you when I needed you?" And I think that's the best thing about it. I don't know if it may be on, on Monday Night Raw is where we're finally going to get the turn of uh, Mark Henry uh, on Big Show. But it's coming. It's coming sooner or later. And I, I guess we're going to get Mark Henry versus Big Show in a match. Maybe Big Show is going to have him beat. And Mark Henry is going to be the one who comes in and, and makes sure that he doesn't do it. Because he wants to be the guy to beat Rusev. And he doesn't want his friend being the guy who hogs all the glory for him. But... Uh, that was main event tonight, and uh, <laughs> it's always fun. Make sure you check it out. WWE Network is, is the only way you can get it. It's sure that nobody really talks about uh, anymore since it's moved over to the WWE Network. And, and even when it was on ION, nobody really was talking about it. You know, it just sort of disappeared off TV. Uh, they started doing the live showings uh, where you had to go on Tuesdays and, and check that out. But I've always liked it. Uh, it's always my fault that I don't really watch it as much as I should. Um, but tonight's episode and, and the last week's episode following the Mark Henry saga uh, is pretty damn good television. It's only an hour show. You'll get through it. And it's uh, normally three, maybe four matches uh, and a little bit of filler where they tell you the stuff that happened on, on Raw or SmackDown to catch you up to date if you, if you didn't watch or just to refresh your memory. But uh, check it out. Peace out.